Rangers lineup tonight. It's uh, only one change from the side that uh, beat Katowice in Glasgow. Ali McCoy's in for Kevin Drinkle. And the Rangers substitute Jimmy Nicholl, Nicky Walker, John McGregor, Derek Ferguson and Ian McCall. And the Katowice side... They have no changes at all. They're relying on the men who played so well in Glasgow to give them victory on home soil. And that means that Jan Fortok, the captain, could well be playing his last game for Katowice before being transferred to Hamburg. Goal, which gave Rangers such a surprise. Jan Fortok, the so uh, they captain of the Katowice side. Goal from the very dangerous position just outside the Rangers penalty area and the Rangers wall being lined up. But it's Furtop, the captain, to take it. Furtop, Wood slips, and it's a goal! Goal for Katowice. The early goal they wanted, and the one that they just didn't want to lose. Captain Jan Furtop to take this one. Wood slips, and it's a goal for Katowice. Keeping possession is all important. Be good. Again, Rangers pull everyone back bar Ali McCoist. Offside, given against the darting foretop as he tried to break through the middle as uh, Morsenek tried to push it through to him. Butcher. Walters knocking it down well, but uh, McCoy's had drifted right. An easy pickup. Trudy dropping deep and spraying the ball well out to that left touch line. Kerpi Ash and Rudy as Rangers let them knock it about in midfield. Marcinic. And Furtok's flick not coming off. A 1 2 played by Durant. Ferguson. Walters breaking fast on the right. Return to Durant. Walters. McCoyst in the middle. So is Cooper. The double shuffle. And the corner. The first corner of the match given to Rangers. So let's see what Rangers can do from the set piece. Almost 11 minutes played in the first half. And only the fifth goal that uh, Rangers have conceded in 13 games so far this season. Yoiko waiting as in it comes. Butchers up there, oh, great save by Yoiko. McCoy gives the keeper a pat on the head and he deserved it because Butcher's header was net bound as Yoiko touched it over. From the set piece, Rangers second corner. And it comes again, Butcher, Yoiko with the fist. Knocked back in, out by Kapiash. Cooper. McCoy's battling away, wins it back for Cooper. Hugging the touchline. Good positive challenge there by little Rudy number eight. But a useful midfield player. Cooper has another go. Rudy's there but has to concede another corner. Rangers third. So can Butcher come up again? He's there at the near post and causing consternation in the Polish defence. It's Walters deciding to take this one. Again, looking for the near post, but it was a bit low. So Yoiko defying Rangers as Wilkins tries with the cross. A little bit strong, but it'll go for another corner. So Rangers rattle up four corners within a couple of minutes. Ball's looking a little suspect in the air. 
this may well be an opportunity for Rangers to exploit Mark Walters yes Terry Butcher and the Rangers captain has leveled the scores after 13 minutes joy and delight for the Rangers players and for the hundred or so Rangers fans who've made the journey to Poland Terry Butcher the equaliser for Rangers and a deserved one too it was the fourth corner that did it Rangers are level one one the score line Here's the free kick to Katowice. And they'll start again. So Rangers now a 2-1 advantage on aggregate. 1-1 on one the night. Will do a very best. Monroe takes the free kick downfield. Picked up by Navrocki to Rudy. These are the two men that have been springing Katowice forward. But uh, Rangers have withstood that early challenge from Katowice. And look, they're beginning now to ooze confidence as Walters sees more of the ball out on the right flank. Back he comes. Support from Stevens, and that'll be a free kick. Quickly taken along the ground. Durant not quite stabbing it uh, to the man he wanted. Stevens trying to put pressure on the Polish defence. Playing it right across the box. Egon. The hash, the number five. Rudy. Kubistal is a speed merchant but Woods is there. Navrocki, <laughs> Rangers quite content to give him a bit of space. Picked up by Cooper, Ian Ferguson, Gary Stevens. Rangers coming forward very confidently. McCoy's going down in that challenge from behind. And the Italian referee awarding another free kick to Rangers. And McCoy has gone down. He may need a little bit of treatment. They're asking the referee's permission for Phil Bosma to come on. But... Alan McCoy is back on his feet. The Italian referee wants the game to get underway, and it will with a free kick to Rangers. Almost 17 minutes played in the first half. And after a shaky start, Rangers beginning to get to terms with the game. Wilkins, Butcher there again, and a great goal! The Rangers captain exposing the Katowice inexperience in the air. And look at the joy and delight. Terry Butcher gets his second. Two goals in four minutes for Rangers. Two headers from Terry Butcher. And the scoreline in Katowice reads. Rangers two, Katowice one. Balsak. Again, Rangers trying to close down space, but don't talk away from goal. And that really was uh, alarm bells ringing there for the Rangers defence. Burtok, the man who's going to Hamburg, turned 
golf inside out, got the chance and really should have done better than placing it wide of Chris Wizard's right hand. Here he is again, wanting to be in the thick of things for Katowice. Golf timing his header. Stevens. Picked up by Karczyk. A little bit too close. Rangers and McCoy is onside. Ferguson's made a great run into the box in support. McCoy shoots and shoots wide. A great chance for Rangers in the final minute of the first half. But I have to say that the ball came through. It looked as if McCoy was offside, but he played to the whistle. All credit to him. But couldn't finish. Cooper now, in stoppage time in the first half. Rangers settle for the throw. The referee's checked with his linesman, has another look at his watch. There it is, half time, and a very satisfactory first half performance by Rangers. They lead Katowice by two goals to one. They lost. An early goal by Jan Furtok after four minutes. A free kick that certainly caused problems for Chris Woods. And the poles were ahead. But two set pieces and two corners, two headers from Terry Butcher. And it is Rangers who are ahead at halftime. And a very important scoreline. 2-1 for Rangers. Rangers ready to get the second half underway. Leading by two goals to one. No substitutes on either side at half-time. And a freshening breeze, if anything, in Rangers' favour, coming from left to right. The game being played in the Slasky Stadium in Horsov. The Katowice ground is under reconstruction. So Karavici again, trying to come forward. Rehash again as Rangers adopts similar tactics at the start of the second half that proved so successful in the first. And uh, Graham Sunis has obviously done his uh, work on uh, Katowice. And of course, Vladislav Zamuda, who previously put one over the Ibrox boss when he was with Liverpool. When uh, Vitsev Lotz put out uh, the English champions. And let's see what distance Chris Woods gets with this one. Bit of pushing there by number seven, Christoph Walsack on uh, Gary Stevens. And Ferguson dissenting the referee's decision there. And that's a silly thing to do because it was a free kick to Katowice. Now they're on the break, having drawn Rangers forward. Kubistal, he packs a shot. Great save by Woods. Wonder save from Miroslav Kubistal. The Rangers defence stood back, let him go across them, and then a super shot that Woods produced the save of the match. Fihash driving it down, and the poles now beginning to throw the long ball forward more often as time begins to run out for them. Great save by Woods again to deny Walsack. And Woods looks as if he may well have just pulled a muscle. But uh, it was Walsack who found the space on the edge of the six-yard box. But look at that magnificent save from Chris Woods.
One, two again, Fulton setting up the chance. Kapiash, Rangers defence stretched. But it's Durant of all people clearing it. Could be style, oh, great goal! <laughs> 17 minutes into the second half. Could be style, a raging shot. And Katowice arm level. 2 2 on the night. Rangers ahead, 3 2 on aggregate. And really, the cross was headed out and it only came as far as Kubistal in a great drive. Passwoods finally beaten and the Bulls fighting back. Pikarczyk. As Rangers get back into midfield, a reminder of the scoreline. 20 minutes left here in the Schlaski Stadium. Furtok finding a little room. Can't do a lot with it, crowded out. McCoist. Slipping one way, then the other, and a great effort. Under pressure there, and Yoiko having to turn it past for a corner. Butcher, in it goes. Missed, and Durant's there! Rangers have made it 3-2. Ian Durant, all alone. And look at the joy of jubilation. Ali McCoy salutes the Rangers supporters who are here and the Polish supporters begin to ease off the terracings because that goal virtually ensures Rangers victory tonight leading by three goals to two 26 minutes played in the second half another corner, another set piece missed by the defender and Ian Durant just casually jabbed it home oh a gap through the middle Blocked by Goff there as Katia seemed to find the room for the shot. Ferguson winning it for Cooper. Battles hard. Now, Durant, a nice flick on. Back comes Durant, the shot, and Ferguson is not all that far away. So again, Karavici, the pace and pattern of the game over the night being dictated by Rangers Kadovici a very very good side as Graham soon has said in the build up to this match but on the night Rangers proving to be the stronger and more disciplined better tactics and better finishing and of course they've had Chris Woods as well Rangers withstood the pressure. And now Walters. Gary Stevens. Durant again making the run into the box. Turning his man. Going in bravely. Flick back. Ian Ferguson. Oh, that's a great goal! Goal number four for Rangers. 33 minutes. Ian Ferguson crashes in a tremendous effort. 4-2 on the night, 5-2 in aggregate, Butcher joining in. And really, Rangers built it up down the right, Stevens helped, Durant was brave, the vision to cut it back, and Ferguson's shot was in and out of the net before the goalkeeper could move.
the giant scoreboard away to our right showing Rangers 4 GKS cut of it say 2 34 minutes played in the second half as Woods again having to go down and Kenny Butcher takes no chances Cappy Ash more or less saying what can I do Valsack not pleased but Rangers certainly pleased with the performance of Chris Woods tonight and it's all over the referee's whistle sounding about 10 seconds early a great victory for Rangers on the night Terry Butcher saluting the fans who have come to see their side finish in commanding form by four goals to two Yes, Rangers, like Celtic, scoring four goals and going through to the next round. And Walter Smith, understandably, well pleased. Absolutely delighted. Uh, we came here expecting a really hard match. Got off to the worst possible start. And it came back again with two quick goals. Uh, and in the end, I felt we won comfortably. Now, looking back to that bad start, what actually happened there? Well, free kick given away right away. We had warned the players that um, they have two players, number eight and number nine, um, for GKS were very good dead ball situations and uh, I think number nine had a really good free kick caught Chris going one way and he slipped on the way back again uh, and it went in so that was us off to the worst possible start however the sleeves were rolled up and of course the two set pieces yeah we felt that uh, Terry could cause them a bit of bother and the whole match we didn't get a lot of room to move in around about the penalty box and uh, fortunately for us they didn't put as many players back into their own box corners against them this time and Terry capitalised on both of them in two good goals so you were certainly one of the deserved lead at half-time and looked well in command, but they came back. Yeah, they came back. We warned that uh, if they didn't get anything in the first 20 minutes in the second half, we felt we could run out comfortable winners. Then again, we had a couple of saves from Chris Woods. Um, then they got uh, the goal back. After that, we played away a wee bit and the game settled. I still don't think they believed that they would get the necessary goals back. And um, eventually we got a couple ourselves. So. And again, Ian Durant's goal coming from another set-piece. Yeah, coming in behind Terry, they were paying a lot more attention to him in the second half. Big space behind him, and Ian came in, side-footed it in. And, of course, the fourth goal coming from Ian Ferguson, but two or three players involved in the move, and deadly finish. Yeah, a good move, and I think a terrific finish, the type that everybody likes to see. But I think it was a fitting reward for both the young players. They worked extremely hard up and down the pitch tonight, and uh, the goal was icing in the cake for them. Your own plan was really to contain them in the middle of the field? Yeah, obviously we wanted to try and keep them in and try and catch them on the break. The pace of Ian Durant and Ian Ferguson from the middle of the park forward was always going to cause a problem. Matt Walters and Davy Cooper in the wider areas. And I think it, it worked reasonably well. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, the type of game that Europe demands uh, suits the players that we have. And you were quite positive picking two wingers right from the start. Well, uh, in a lot of respects, we've been left with Kevin Drinkle missing the match. And uh, we were forced into it. We found it a couple of games this season, even in Scotland, we've played the two wingers and Alistair up through the middle on his own. Uh, and that's worked well for us in Europe before and uh, that worked again tonight. So, off to Pataudry on Saturday, another long journey for you. Yeah, and another hard match as well. They seem to keep coming up all the time. But uh, we're obviously looking forward to it now and we've got a few results behind us and hopefully they continue. That's 11 in a row. Congratulations, Walter Smith. Thanks very much, Alistair.